Hi, I'm Tom Conway. I'm the president of the Steelworkers Union. I want to take some time today to talk to you about a problem that we have in the union that's significant, and it's been going on since October of 2019 when our local unions at ASARCO in Arizona and Texas were forced to go on strike. Their bargaining had been a series of refusals to honestly bargain and unfair labor practices and demands to double health care costs to the employees and no wage increase for four years. And they hadn't had a wage increase in the 10 previous years to that. And other proposals to freeze pensions and strip seniority. And the locals had no choice but to go on strike. And they've held up a valiant strike, and they continue to do and I'm convinced, and they're convinced, they're going to last one day longer, and they're going to win this strike against this company. But in the meantime, things have gotten very difficult, and we're looking to raise some money in addition to the strike and defense funds that the union has been sending them all along. Because in the middle of this strike, along comes the COVID virus, and it puts a strain in our striking communities, on our striking families, Food banks are more strained. Conditions are tougher. And these workers, because they're on strike, they can't go get unemployment, and they're not eligible for that $600 that comes on top of it. And so we need to be able to support them and help them out. And I know, too, that this is a difficult time to talk to the locals because the layoffs in our country have been significant, and many of your own treasuries are strained as well. But I would ask you to sort of take a close look at what you can do. Many of the locals in District 13 and District 12 in Texas and Arizona, where this strike has taken place at this mine and smelter and copper refinery, they've put money into this already, and they're helping their sisters and brothers who are on strike. But I want to talk to the rest of the union. And so many have stepped up before, and I want to ask you again to think about it, Look over your situation, look over your finances, see if you can not send something to these locals and we'll keep them going and keep them strong and help supplement them as we get through this period and process our cases and move forward with our unfair labor practice and our strike. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. I hope you take time, talk about it amongst your locals and amongst yourselves and see if you can help out with something here. So thanks very much for your time and your attention.